the new Holland's are very simple to set up. It's just a matter of putting a chute at the back, all the chaffs dropping straight onto the um, straws, the chaff spreaders, and just drop them down, turn them off, and put a chute over the top of them. On on these headers with a uh, a combination airflow with the uh, sieves and the rotor, we need to put a baffle about 350 above the sieves and run it down to keep the weed seeds from going into the straw spreading system. The construction of the narrow windrow burning chute was done by Good and Welding. They've got New Holland header and he's made them before and I just contacted him and he made one up for me. Um, it doesn't take long, it's very simple and quite cheap really. Um, and the gated chaff lining, I've just uh, set a few sheets of tin in there and it's narrowed it up and done the job last year. Windrow burning chute is the one that I got made. Um, it's the outer ones and then I've, at the moment I've got the chaff lining sort of baffles, bits of tin in there. They're just the bits that I've folded up and um, to narrow the row up. That's currently 200 mil. Yeah, so the narrow windrow burning chute's just held on by a bolt either side on the um, spinners. I'll just put a bracket out there and bolt on either side and there's one under the centre just to hold the bottom in to stop it bouncing around. And yeah, this is just a couple of bolts that are holding the chaff lining chute in. The sides come up there to try and stop as many weed seeds coming out the side. If, yeah, if we're not narrow windrow burning, we just simply take the chute off. There's three bolts that hold it on. Um, you can do it by yourself. It's easy with two, but um, yeah, it only sort of takes 10 minutes. And yeah, just put the spinners back up and it's right to go.